Hey everybody, Cyberboy here with a new uh, demo to try out called Karakuri Kun. So this is the beginning of it. I have been working on a new project. This is my best shot at fame and fortune. Why do you bother? You never seem to succeed. I will make a Karakuri that will astound all of Nihon. So let's see. Got temporal cog times two. I don't know what that is, but the list of plans to develop new automaton. Hmm. Automaton doll. Okay. I guess I go here and it looks great. Okay, I guess I go to bed now. Um, let's see. Let's see what happens when I go to the bed. <clears throat> that guy looks evil. Um, um, what the heck is this? Where am I and who am I? Why have I no memory? Okay, let's see what she can do. Let's see what this crystal thing is. Uh, might as well. Oops. Let's go upstairs and see if I can give the guy a heart attack or something. Guess I cannot do anything with those. My goodness, you are working. This is splendid. I can present you to the Shogun. What do you mean, working, old man? Hmm, you speak. I hadn't anticipated that. I'll ask again. What do you mean, working, old man? You are a robot, or to be more specific, an advanced automaton. As early as the 16th century, Japanese artisan, artisans had developed sophisticated automaton designs. You are one of them. Oh my god, this can't be real. It's only a dream and I will wake up soon. I think you will find it is not a dream. Now have some modesty and put some clothes on. Choose carefully as they will be fixed to your shell. If you change your mind, you can swap by using the mirror. Okay, let's... Which one should I do? Lightning. Oh, so they do different things, I guess. Frost. And I guess that one's going to be fire. Pyro. Yep. Let's do the ice one, though. She's already blue. Okay. <clears throat> I will present you at the Shogun's house. As you can walk, follow the path east to the town and find his house in the southeast. I guess I'm on my way then. I mean, on my own. Hey, can I take the hammers to, as a weapon? No? Okay, then let's... So I need to go east. I mean, have I was not expecting that. I guess I can mute that area of the thing and then 
of the video and put my own music in because I don't know if that's copyright or not so I'm got I'm not going to chance it okay so let's a talking Nino I guess the toy maker finally managed to make something special you had better take these clock winders they will keep you going okay then <clears throat> By the way, that music blasting as it did scare me, so that was interesting. I was not expecting that loud. Okay, let's... The doors are locked. Okay. It's a scarecrow. He looks lonely as if he needs someone to talk to. He has some nice clothes. I wonder how he got those clothes anyway. Hello, Mr. Scarecrow. Hello there, thanks for talking to me. It gets so lonely out here. Take my shirt, friend. Thank you so much, friend. Huh. Interesting. You can have my shirt too, and that way you'll never feel lonely. Lost cloth shirt. Mm hmm. Okay then, so let's see... Um... Okay, let's do that one then. There we go. Treasure chest, let's grab that. 80 yen, we're found. Okay, let's. let's see what happens. This is the way to the shrine. I don't need to go there quite yet. Okay, then. I guess I'll continue going east.
There we go. I was not expecting the music to start up since it hadn't been doing anything before that. <clears throat> But that seems to be like a, what's it called, a little history lesson, I guess, I can say, that the Shogun had towed. Okay, so I guess these you cannot go into. So let's go find people and talk to them real quick. Let's do... Uh, ice. And then attack. Yes, that's why um, the ice was not working because it was a water elemental. I am an African samurai my named Yasuke. I am the only African man to acquire samurai status. I arrived here in 1579 as a slave to an Italian Jesuit priest named Alessandro Balignano, Balignano, I guess. My origin is unknown other than I am from East Africa. I was granted the high status of samurai by Oda Nobunaga. I became something of a celebrity in Japan for my height and strength. Oda Nobunaga didn't believe that my skin was black and made me wash thoroughly in front of him. Following that event, Oda Nobunaga grew fond of me and famously announced across Japan that I had the strength of ten men. I fought alongside Nobunaga many times during his fight to unify Japan. I was even there fighting valiantly, trying to defend Nobunaga in his last moments prior to Sipuku. Akichi Mitsuhide forced Nobunaga to commit seppuku, a ritual suicide for a samurai. As for me, he declared I was not Japanese and so was not permitted to commit seppuku despite my samurai status and then twin swords. I was returned to the Portuguese church, who were overjoyed to see me return to my position as a slave. Recently, I was freed again by Ieyasu, however, it was a big secret and the history books would not know what happened to me after being returned to the church. Okay. Um, that was interesting. I didn't know any of that. <clears throat> I guess knowing this stuff is what the quizzes were for. Okay. I guess nothing to say. My name is William Adams. I also known as Miura Engine to the Japanese. I was a key advisor to Ieyasu during his time as Shogun. I arrived here in the year 1600 and by 1605 I was at the side of the Shogun. I even helped Japan build its first Western-style boat. I am, a I am a Protestant, so the Jesuits, the Portuguese, and other missionaries often see me as a rival. They even suggested returning me to England against the Edict of the Shogun, to whom I was an, the official interpreter. I was given the position of bannerman in the Imperial Court. Imperial, ah, cannot talk. Imperial 
court, and my net worth was an estimated 250 koku. Koku is a measurement of wealth in which one koku is enough rice to feed someone for a year. <clears throat> so basically, I was a millionaire. And here's someone else over here. I am William Adams' wife. Although he had a wife in England, he was unable to return to England for a number of years by the order of the Shogun, so he married me as well, but William continuously wrote letters to his wife back in England. Hmm. Let's save it, and I'll continue another time.